Oh, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, Supreme Dragon 5 brings to you Deck Profile. Don't forget to like subscribe buttons are down below. Check me out on Facebook. Leave a comment down below what you think of Mermails. I know a lot of people hate the deck. It's been around for a couple of years, but it's still good and still and I still love it. So starting off, we got two copies of Megalo. Ditch two water monsters, special summit. Search out an abyss search out your abyss sphere. Uh, three copies of Abyss Theus. Ditch one water monster to special summon it. Uh, then search out one sea serpent monster from your deck and add it to your hand. Uh, just one copy of Abyss Lead. Uh, ditch three to special summon and add a uh, Abyss uh, Trap card from your graveyard back to your hand. Typically you're going to be special summoning this off of Landy, so you won't be using the other effect. Also, its secondary effect is you contribute a face-up mermail monster in attack position to discard uh, one random card from your opponent's hand. And Megalo, you can uh, contribute any uh, face-up attack position water monster and it can attack twice. Uh, two copies of Abyss Turge. Discard a uh, water monster from your hand. Typically, you're going to be ditching uh, Gunned, uh, Marksman, or Infantry. This lets you add a level 3 or lower from your graveyard back to your hand. And one pike, which lets you add, does, which you also discard for. Uh, when it's normal or special summon, same with uh, Turge. This lets you add a level 3 or lower from your deck to your hand. So that's really good to get your Lindy or your Gun or uh, Marksman or Infantry, whatever you need. Uh, we have three copies of Lindy. This lets you special summon a Mermail monster from your deck. So typically you go for your beater or your or if you need a rank four play, then you go for that. Uh, just the one copy of Gun. That's all we're allowed. It's all you need. It's easily recyclable. It's, uh, when this card is sent to the graveyard for a water monster effect, special summon any Mermail from your graveyard to the field. That does it for the Mermail half of it. Uh, one title works really well. Level seven water go into your uh, Xyz and synchro plays. Uh, one dragon ice. Uh, I saw this in another deck profile. Uh, play tested with it, loved it. I uh, really liked it. It goes with the uh, Gungnir play and a couple of the other pl and the uh, Beals play. Uh, one deep sea diva. Searches out any sea serpent level three or lower sea serpent, and so you can do it like here. This is how you also go into your uh, gung near play. Uh, two copies of Undyne, uh, send a water monster from your deck, add a controller to your hand. Your water monster gets its effect. So, I got two copies of controller that does it for that portion. And since you're running two controllers, you can run Beals. Uh, one Dragoons when this is sent. Uh, for a water monster's effect, special uh, search out uh, a sea serpent type monster from your deck. Add it to hand. And I miss uh, said something on Abyssius. It's whenever you it lets you add a level four lower mermail to your hand, not sea serpent. That one has sea serpent. Uh, three copies of infantry. When this is sent, when this is normal summon, you can additional normal summon a level two or a uh, level three or lower. A level four or lower sea serpent, and this when it's sent for a water monster effect, target one face up card on the field, destroy it. Two copies of marksman. When this is sent, it uh, destroys one face down card on the field. Also, when this attacks and inflicts battle damage, special summon a uh, level four or lower sea serpent from your deck, just not itself. And of course, everybody's favorite, three ice hands and three fire hands when one is sent to the graveyard I, when ice hand sent to the graveyard destroy a back destroy a spell or trap special summon fire hand when fire hand sent destroy one face up monster special summon ice hand so that does it for the monsters of the deck uh, monster heavy it's a monster heavy deck uh, as for spells one rank up magic the seventh it's just one of my favorite cards, I, since I'm already running it, since I'm already able to go into 101, and uh, anyway, I can go to C101 as well. Uh, just the one MST, don't really feel I need more than the one. Uh, for traps, 
Three Abyss Fears, special summon, uh, set it, during your opponent's end phase, activate it, special summon Lindy, Lindy gets her effect, then you special summon your big beater, and finally, three Phoenix Wing Wind Blast. Uh, this helps get rid of problematic cards off your opponent's field, as well as lets you get guns effect when it's discarded. Now for the extra deck, for the synchro portion, one gun near. Uh, uh, this card to up to two cards, destroy up to two cards on the field. You can only activate this once per turn. So if you discard your infantry and marksman, <coughs> marksman, you can actually have four pops instead of one or two. Uh, one crimson blader, shut down special summon decks. One stardust spark dragon. I like it because it can protect itself during either player's turn and you don't have to. Uh, wait for a card effect to be activated. One Bills, you can go into this with Dragon Ice and uh, Gen X Controller. One Leo, Leo's just tough to get over. And one Star Eater, it is possible. And Star Eater is also difficult to get over. As for the Xyz, two Draco Sacks, self explanatory. Detach, pop, run over stuff. Big Guy, steal stuff. Uh, Abyss Gaios, Walking Skill Drain. Two 101s to steal stuff, or if I need to, I can rank up and go to C101. Cowboy for that extra burn damage, and Exiton to blow up the field and create uh, card advantage again. As for my side deck choices, three max Cs uh, in case I'm facing a mirror match or dragons. Uh, two DNA surgeries for Bujins. Three copies of Breakthrough Skill in case I'm facing like uh, Ophion or anything like that. I need to get over. Uh, three Imperial Iron Wall again if I'm facing a Dragon's deck or uh, a deck that relies a lot on banishing stuff. And then uh, for siding in when I need them, Abyss Dweller to negate Graveyard. Uh, Karen Gorgon, which will help me. Uh, Protect Sphere. Number 80, Rhapsody and Berserk, which will let me uh, banish two cards of my opponents, and Ragnazir in case uh, Fire Fist and uh, Bujins. So, don't forget to like and subscribe. Leave me a comment down below what you think of Mermouse. This is Supreme Dragon, signing out.